Hello everybody, it's Amanda here from ScreenPinMummy.co.uk and today I've got a really special project that I need to make so I figured I'd come on and I'd share the full process with you I need to make something really special for one of the ladies in my team so I just need to check before I start Denise, if you're watching, do one, get off <laughs> because, you know, I don't want you seeing it Has she gone? Do you think she's still there? <laughs> So what I'm going to do is, um, lovely Denise who is in my team has just recently got a custom built craft room and so I wanted to make her something really special to go in it. So I'm going to share that process with you and I'm using today, I'm using the brand new petal palette. It's a two piece stamp set, you're getting an awful lot for your money, it's 15 pieces and there is a coordinating die, uh, thin lips which is called Petals and More Thinlets, okay? And this is a 10-piece thinlets. And it is one of those that cuts out the shapes that you've stamped and then there's some extras. Beautiful, beautiful set. Absolutely awesome. And it's got a bird. Everybody loves birds. And the really good benefit of this stamp set is the price point, if you buy it as a bundle, saves you 10% and you will also automatically be entitled to a free uh, celebration item so there you go uh, it's making your money go further right so what I'm going to do is if, we, if we're sure that Denise is not watching <laughs> I am going to make her a lovely plaque for in her lovely new craft room and I'm going to put her name on I've got the dies here ready to spell her name and I'm going to use the large letter um, dies but I want to decorate it beautifully using petal palette so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp out a variety of the images and then I can, you know, cut some out, maybe colour some in. Not quite sure yet what I'm going to do. Might be a bit of a long video, might need to fast forward in some places. I'm using basic black and I think I'm going to do her name in a nice pink. So I'm going to have it in black and white and pink, which is a lovely combination. So first of all, I'm stamping this beautiful large rose and leaf um, combination and uh, I'm going to do a few and then I'll cut them all out over on my big shot and uh, we'll see what we're going to add. I do apologise if my camera rocks slightly. I've recently had a revamp in my craft room and <laughs> moved my tables around and now my table has no weight at the other end. So it rocks. Look at that, isn't that stunning? Absolutely beautiful, I love that. Um, yeah, I'll do another one of those. So I'll try and... Uh, you know, dab my ink really gently so that I'm not rocking the camera. Um, I think I'm going to have to see if my husband can come up with some sort of bracket to tie my two desks together so that they don't wobble. <laughs> Look at that, absolutely beautiful. Now you can colour those, if you stamp with Memento, you can colour them with your alcohol markers, watercolour pencils, whatever. I'm not going to do that today. Now I don't think the die coordinates with that one, so we'll leave that one. I think it does with this one, so I'll have a few of this one. And the ones that don't have coordinating dies, I might, I might just uh, stamp straight onto the plaque um, as I go along. So here's our birdie. I absolutely love it because as it stamps, it it almost looks. I don't know, it's got a, a almost watercolour feel to it. it. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Look at that. Stunning. Love it. I'll just do another one in case I uh, mess one up. <laughs> so what I'll do is I'll go over and um, chop them out of my big shot in a moment. But my what I'm making my plaque with is a piece of uh, very lovely sturdy chipboard from the back of a paper stack <laughs> and I'm going to cover it with some cardstock um, I might have to just cut that down ever so slightly so I'll cover it with the cardstock um, I'll glue that on and I'll just chop that down because it's just ever so slightly too large and then I will be back okay so I have cut some whisper white cardstock 
to match my chipboard and I've just cut it slightly over just because you know you never know and it's better to have it a little bit too big than not big enough I can always trim it off so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put my uh, chipboard to one side and I have cut some letters with my lady's name on so she better not be watching <laughs> and I'm just going to plan more or less where I'm going to put the letters oops so that I can have a think how I'm going to arrange things um, because I might want to you know D-E-N-I trying to remember Denise I hope I've spelled her name right <laughs> don't want to call her Dennis Denise that's right so I'm going to have them roughly there and I've cut a massive selection from the um, thinlets and uh, you know giving myself plenty to play with they are awesome to use I've cut a variety of uh, you know that's cardstock just normal cardstock this is um, silver foil paper and this is the glimmer uh, paper so and then this is just normal whisper white so I've cut a variety of things I'm just going to have a little bit of a think about where I want things um, and just have a little bit of a, a plan and a play um, I might not even have that bird I don't know if I want it now <laughs> don't know I might have it there we'll see and I quite like the idea of these little sprigs I'm going to call them going off the edge of my plaque so that's what I'm doing <laughs> so I'll do what I want um, I just think it adds a little bit more dimension I'm sticking with the shape I prefer an oval shape but I don't want to cut it wonka so I'm going to have that one there I think like that <sighs> let's have a think um, okay so if I'm having that one there I want that sprig pointing down and if I'm having that one there I want that sprig pointing up and then I've got my little florals here and here Okay, so let me have a think, because I'd like to use some of my other stamps as well. Um, let's see what's in this set. Okay, so I think I'll stamp this leaf here, and I think I'm going to stamp it up in each corner. Um, one in the top corner, one in the bottom corner, because I've got a kind of an idea now of what I want to do. So let me move my pieces out of the way and do some extra stamping. Okay, move, move, move. Okay, so I'm sticking with my uh, basic black. Let me just stamp it on my mat and see what it looks like. I don't know, uh, I've not planned it. Oh yes, I like that. Like it, like it, like it. So I think we'll have, sorry if my table's rocking, I'm trying to do it as gently as I can. We'll have one up here. right in that top corner just to layer underneath my uh, die cuts one there and we'll have another one in the bottom corner move that out of the way like so and then we can layer up that looks ever so pretty I do like that and what I might just do is just have some going off of the corner like so just to so we haven't got so much white we don't want lots and lots of white do we it's a bit dull so we've got those leaves uh what else have i got let me have a look <laughs> um in this one we've got these dots i quite like these i think i'll have a go have a little play with those i think I'm going to need a long um, block. So let me have a look. This is how I store my blocks. Don't look at them because they're a bit manky. <laughs> oh, they need a wash. Let me use my long block. 
and I'll just mount those on fairly straight and uh, put some black ink on because I'm sticking with my black and pink theme I'm just going to stamp those to see what they look like ooh that's cool like that love it love it love it okay plenty of ink on and I'm just going for roughly the centre here I think just to give a border top and bottom don't think I want it all the way. A little bit more at the top there. Try not to get my messy hair in the frame. There we go. Oh, I do like that. I do, I do, I do. Leave that like that. I'm happy with that. So what I'm going to do now is start and um, compile my... I'm going to glue this on here first, so I will use some wet glue and I think I'll put it on the chipboard because the chipboard's more sturdy than the paper, I don't want it to go funny because <laughs> I've just inked it up. I know what I mean. Plenty on, Ooh, lots and lots and lots. Okay, and we will stick that on there, uh, like so, and I will need to trim it down later, so I'm going to put it as central as I can, and what I'll do is when I've finished filming, um, I will trim it down, in fact I might just do it now, might as well, aren't I? Do it now, and then it's done. I'm just going to trim it. It's easier to cut the cardstock to the size of the chipboard once it's on because you're never going to get an exact. I've done this before, and you know, you could be just a fairy hair out, and it, and you know, you don't want to see that great chipboard. Now what I would have done had I got more time, I would have painted all around the edge of that chipboard um, in white acrylic paint just to further ensure that you couldn't see it and I probably may well just go and do that after. See I've cut that a bit short there now and that's bugging me. Not to worry. I will sort it out. Right, so now I can start and attach my components. So I want one going that way and one going that way. Like so. Right, let's get them glued down. I love this glue just because um, it comes in bigger bottles. The stamping up glue is awesome, but I get bored of opening new bottle after new bottle after new bottle. <laughs> so that's the, if anybody's wondering why I don't use the stamping up glue very often, that is the only reason. Um, stick that on like that. And then this one on the bottom. I use too much glue, really. Okay. Main shot. Yeah. Now this kind of creating, I I just love it. Um, I get more enjoyment out of something like this than a card. Um, I don't know why. I do love making cards, but this is fun. You get all messy and sticky and gooey. It's awesome. Okay, so now I need to concentrate on my lettering. Now I'm going to put them on mini dimensionals, I think, so that it stands proud. So let me get some of those out and let me get some on the letters. Let's speed it up a bit. Okay, don't want them upside down. That wouldn't be a good look, would it? So I'll just move that over slightly. Okay. 
I think I will just pause slightly while I put all of the dimensionals that I need on here and get my letters centred. One moment. Though. Okay, so I've got my letters on now. That was a fiddly bit because I wanted to use the smaller dimensionals um, so they don't show. And so I'm happy with that now. So now I want to arrange my stamped images, but I want to add a bit of colour. I've decided, I've changed my mind. Don't want it just black and white now. But you know, that's me, I'll change my mind. <laughs> um, so I'm going to add a, just a touch of um, zesty colour, I've decided. <laughs> Whether it'll work, I don't know. But I've decided that these that I've cut out that are the same pink, it's just a bit, it's just a bit wishy-washy. So I'm changing my mind. And that's what you do as you go, yeah, you know. Uh, you can change your mind. <laughs> right, so I'm using my aqua painters. I'll just make sure it's clean because I want a very muted. Although I want a bit of bright, I want it to be muted. Let me just move that. So I'm going to use this berry burst on the roses here. I'm doing it very carefully because I've not used um, memento. I've just used uh, a normal stamping ink, uh, basic black, so there we go, that's that one and I'm just doing it really rough like I'm really gently not necessarily staying in the lines, not necessarily covering all the white um, you know, it's messy crafting, that's kind of like what we were given at, uh, on stage with the new brushes and all this, uh, you know um, at the moment it's all about watercolouring and you know it not being perfect nothing has to be um, and it's about having fun so I'm just going to add a bit more darker colour in the centre and then just let that water let it naturally spread um, you know like I know what I'm doing <laughs> I'm just messing about right but yeah just add a bit of darker in the centre and it uh, because your paper's wet, it will just automatically spread out. So that's what I'm doing. And that one. I love aqua painters. I think they're awesome. I love uh, getting a bit messy. And making it look like I'm a little bit artistic. <laughs> okay, so I'll put that one away and I'll clean it later. Put that away. And I'm going to use Lemon Lime Twist, which might sound a bit strange, but I just fancied a bit of Lemon Lime. Um, so again, I'm going for a watered down basic watercolour wash on here. I'm not staying in the lines, I'm not fussed. I'm just going for it. Mm-hmm. Bit on there. I've got another one somewhere. I've got another one of those little ones. What have I done with it? There it is. <laughs> it's hiding. Okay. So I would advise waiting for those to dry, but I don't have the time <laughs> or frankly the uh, patience to wait for anything. So I'm gonna do it right now. I'm going to put it up on dimensionals. Um, oh, I need my bird, don't I? What colour shall I do my bird? Hmm. I think I'll just add a little bit of Sahara sand to that bird. Maybe. Or shall I just do him? I'm going to use the lemon line that's already on my brush. Birds are green, aren't they? <laughs> Oh, the green bird. Put that away. Don't want that. Change my mind. So I'm going to again. I'm going to stand these up on dimensionals. Um, if you decide to do one, I would wait for them to dry. <laughs> Here we go. Load and load and load of stickies. One on there. One on here. And one on here. 
you know I always said there's more to stamping up than just making cards absolutely and when I was away I was thinking if I was buying this bundle again I mean I've already got it so I won't be but <laughs> which um, you know because you can get free celebration set if you buy the bundle which would I pick well I pick this one which is called Amazing You and the reason being is that if you picked this one to go with it you've got a really good range of sentiments there you know and there's also a thinlet that coordinates with these that you can also earn for free so if I was buying this bundle getting my 10% off celebration item I'd go for that one just in case anybody needs a, a bit of a hand picking I just kind of close my eyes me and go I'll have that one <laughs> Because I just love them all, it's real hard for me to like pick a specific anything. I'm not very good at making decisions that way. Right, so that's that one. So I'm going to have that one going that way, just with the leaf going over the D like so. And this is where it all starts and pulls together. And something that might look like it's not up to much will start and form its you know, look. I don't know, I can't think of a better descriptive word. <laughs> I need to get a thesaurus out when I'm doing these videos so I can come up with clever words. <laughs> Just can't think of them off the top of my head. Right, and then this one I'm going to have going this way, just tailing off on the end of the E like so. There we go. Let me move all of those out of the way. And then we've got these smaller florals which I'm just going to add that there I'm going to add this one just down here I'll have to stick my little bird somewhere let me get in my dimensional let's have a look where should we put our little bird I think we'll have him here in this bottom shall we? We'll have him in this bottom corner here, look. Sitting on the branch. <laughs> I will avoid the temptation to make one to go at that side because I do like things to be symmetrical. Um, now, let me see if I can utilise these. Um, since I've cut them, I don't want to waste them. So I may as well just stick them in. And just make use of them don't like things laying about or else you end up wasting them and I don't like waste so I'm just going to stick that little pink one in there again just hanging off the edge I like that I might not use the bigger ones I don't know we'll see we'll see I'm, I, you know I am prone to changing my mind a little bit of glue uh, where have I got that one I've got that one in there so let's slide that little flower in there like so and um, what about these? Shall I or shan't I? No, I don't think I will, no. And I think adding those is too much. I think I'm going to leave it there. I think I'm going to leave it there. I'm just going to, and because I like sparkle, I'm just going to add some Wink of Stella to these letters. Just to, it's a new one, I'm not sure it's working. There we go, that's better. Give these a quick cut. Uh, and then what I might do is I may well add some lace to the back of this, but that would be a non stumping up product. Because I do like a bit of lace, and I know that Denise does. I might do, I don't know, I'm not decided. So let me just cut these letters. And that will just give those plain pink letters a bit of a lift. Uh, and then we're good to go. Um, nearly done. Give these a cut. You can see it catching the light already. That is super pretty. Let me just smoosh that off, put a bit much on there there we go you could put a hanger on the back you could give them some sticky tabs 
You could put this inside a shadow box. Loads and loads of ideas. Um, in fact, that's an awesome idea to find, you know, like a long by narrow photo frame and mount it inside. That would be even nicer. Um, I don't have one to hand. I normally do have things like that, but I've had a right good clear out in my craft room for New Year. And so I don't have any. Okay, so that's that. I think I just want something in the centre of those flowers because I'm just never, I'm just never happy. <laughs> I've just never done, am I? Let's have a look, what can we have? I quite like these little... Let's have a look. Do I want that? Yes, I do. I can have one there. Do I? No, I don't like it. Change my mind. Don't like it. Don't like it. I want a pearl. That's better because it stands out. The others didn't stand out. It just blended in. We don't want that. That one there. One over here. And one there. Uh, I just dot a few round and about in the border as well. Much easier with a pokey tool. There we go. There we go. And one there. And one there. And I'm happy with that. I'm going to leave it there. I will likely do some form of hanger. And I'll probably use this beautiful lace here. In fact, I might just edge. What I might do, and you'll see, if I do, you'll see it in the thumbnail, is I might just edge the bottom of this with some of the Stampin' Up! lace. But I'm not sure. <laughs> I can't decide. <laughs> That's actually really pretty, isn't it? Well, there's an idea. I'm not going to carry on filming. What I'll do is, if I decide to put lace on the bottom there, all the way around, then you'll see it on the thumbnail. <laughs> I hope that's given you an idea of something different that you can make with your beautiful Stampin' Up! products, other than just cards. Go and have some fun. I hope she likes it now. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye.